What's up everybody? This is 8-Bit Eric and this is my top 5 NES games of all time. Now the NES is perhaps my favorite retro system to collect for. I have nearly 300 games and there's just so many that I enjoy and so many that I hate and it's a weird combination because some of the ones I hate are actually top 5. So let's go ahead and get started. Number five, right off the bat, Karate Kid. Yeah, Karate Kid, a game that has been reviewed thousands of times by people, and it's always been met with harsh criticism. However, I think it deserves a little bit of credit. So I'm gonna give it. Now, if you saw my review, I didn't give it that much of a beating. I didn't treat it like a redheaded stepchild. I said that while it is challenging, it's not a bad game. In fact, I think it's one of the better LJN games and I can just sit through it anytime, anywhere and just play Karate Kid. I like to play it to finish. It takes me probably about, what, half hour to get through the game. Yeah, I die a few times, but there's just a certain nostalgia appeal to the game that I really enjoy. Uh, I don't think an NES collection is complete without Karate Kid. It's a must-have. And if you haven't seen my review of it, check it out. Click the little box. But yeah, Karate Kid, one of the better movie license titles out there. Classic side scroll and beat em up, just like Kung Fu. Matter of fact, it's very similar to Kung Fu. Kung Fu may be a little bit better, but nevertheless, Karate Kid will have you wax off, wax on it. Left and right beat. Number four, Chris Dallas. Classic SNK. RPG action adventure game. Now, I haven't played through Crystallis, but I've played it like almost all of my life. Uh, when I was a little kid, I remember one of my friends had it and I would watch him play it. I would try to play it and I just never owned it until recently when I started collecting. And this was one of the first games that I bought when I started collecting for the NES again. Um, it has tons of classic elements. It's very much like Zelda. But it has a power-up system and, you know, the experience that you gain from killing the enemies. It's cool because it's Zelda-ish. It's kind of like how Secret of Mana is also, um, as opposed to a turn-based RPG. And I think it just it's one of the more expansive NES titles out there. I mean, you could play this game for hours and have fun and just explore. It's very advanced for its time. It's an underrated game. I think Crystallis is very, very underrated, and this is definitely one of my most favorite to play. Uh, it's easy to control, and it's just classic. I mean, there's not enough times I can call Crystallis a classic game. If you haven't had a chance to play it yet, play it. I highly recommend it. Number three, Little Mermaid. Yep, the rumors are true. This is one of 8-Bit Eric's favorite games of all time, and I reviewed this game before, so please check it out. Click the little window right here. But, the reason why I voted Little Mermaid is because I feel that it's one of Capcom's best Disney games ever made. And it's not your typical one. It's not like DuckTales, and it's not like Disney's Adventures in the Magical Kingdom. It's not like Mickey Mouse Capades. It's not like Chippendale, or DuckTales, or... Darkwing Duck. It's a totally different game. You're swimming the whole time. Um, the stages aren't really elaborate. However, the soundtrack is great for its time. It has a Capcom Disney feel to it. And this is a game that I can just sit and play. And I highly recommend it, even though it's very girly. It's one of my favorites. And I think part of the appeal is that for me, personally, is that I'm able to pick it up and just play through it with one sitting. And to me, that's that's what makes a good NES game, in my opinion. Number two. Now, I had a hard time choosing between my number one and my number two choice. And this is very difficult, but I picked Super Mario Bros. 3. Now, people call this the greatest NES game of all time, and I really shouldn't have to talk about Super Mario Bros. 3 very long. If you haven't played it, it's available on the Virtual Console, it's available on Super Mario All-Stars, on the Wii and Super Nintendo, it's on the Game Boy Advance, it's probably on every Nintendo system ever made. They've re-released it. So there's no excuse for not playing. This was a big game back in the 
day when I was a kid, and everybody loved it. I love this game. It's very hard not to have this at number one. It's classic Super Mario action. This is Mario and Nintendo at their best. Now my number one NES game of all time, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Just because I remember this being one of my earliest, if not the earliest, NES game outside of Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt that I played. And it's still fun to this day. I can't get past Soda Popinski, and I did review this game, so check it out. Check the review out. But there's just a replay value to this game. Every time I play, I try to do better than I did the last time. And I swear I come so close to beating Soda Popinski and it just, it doesn't happen. But that just, that's what makes the game fun, in my opinion, is that it's like impossible. Yet it's, it has that replayability factor that not many games have nowadays. And Mike Tyson's Punch-Out captured that essence for me. And it still holds true to this day. Well guys, that is my top 5 NES games. Let me know what you think below. Comment video response with your own top five. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned. This has been Top 5.